Could you just briefly describe it when you first saw the bird? What? Um, when I first saw that bird, you know, Paul has moved because he recorded it, so it was, it was, wow, it was like, can you explain? It was amazing. I was happy, I was excited, you know, I seen it come out and it flew and it was like, wow, it was a really beautiful bird. And then just recently I found out that some people, I don't know what it was, that it was four, we had four boxes that we put out there in the front. And um, they took it down, they... Yeah, they we saw it laying on the side. Yeah. Now you have six, don't you? Yeah, I think it's six. It's there. Well, and, um, so just to be clear, there's one on the path and there's one right up back here. Yeah, the one, and that, one on the path is down for a while, but it's up now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there, there are four that we also put up in the restoration area. Um, yeah, and so we've been able to go over to the restoration area too. Yeah. Right. Right. But it's been great to see that restoration area, and we've talked to the the biologist. I think she is there, and we we visited there three times. So that's been great too. Um, so I'm going to be out Think four over there. Six four, so we have six up now, and we're going to put four back again. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, um, With metal poles this time. <laughs> and so um, I heard recently that these the four bird houses that we have, they were um, taken down, 
up and you go, oh, but no more person, like that's not really into birds or, or, or it, it lead back then. If I never knew about it, I would have never cared, but it actually, you know, affects me now a little bit mm -hmm. because of the fact that, you know, there was birds in there and they had a family, you know, I, I think they had um, a desk and they probably had, maybe, maybe they could have been eggs, I don't know. Um, the right. Some of those birds died. Yeah, they banned them. And so, yeah, and, uh, and the eggs were cracked, and this, um, I think, is it should affect people because one is it protects our environment, not only from the mosquitoes, but we also should think about it like if it was our family, and somebody was, you know, murdered or, or killed, how we feel? Well, you have pet. Yeah, or like a pet or anything. So, you know, I was like a little bit angry and sad at the same time. And, you know, we can always put the boxes there, but, you know, we can replace the um, my life that was there before, but one thing I have to say, you know, um, I think that we should, you know, have more security on these, on these um, bird houses. Or signs. Yeah, or signs that say not to go near or, or, or like a certain amount or, or like a certain distance. Yeah. So, so just to be on the safe side. And you can read the sign, you're already too close. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, the living family. Families growing, something yeah. like that. You put it up. Mm -hmm. Because some people just don't know what's in there. Now they're yeah, there, there's just in there. And, and, I'm not gonna, and, and one thing I'm not going to really lie because I think I, I think that might have a reason. I, I think they had, you know, they probably did it because, you know, at first I was like that. And just, I just want, like, I see something like that and I just want to hit it down. But I was like, then. I guess when I was a little kid, but I guess that's some people just do that. I don't understand why, but, you know. And for that reason, I think, I think that's the reason why we should have signs. I think the small signs would help. Mm -hmm. Index card size, yeah. but in bold print. Yeah, yeah. don't get too close. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it. That's all I have to say. But we want to leave the guy. Yeah, I have a question. Would it be possible, because everybody is going to abide by the rules, everyone is going to say that these are pretty small rules and they're not going to mess with them. Do, do the students have an answer? Yeah. yeah. Good. We've talked about that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because birds have different ranks. So, like, a hawk will claim a tree as its territory, and a little bird is not going to get in its way because it's not going to be up. So, each bird has like a level of where, yeah. So, a bird, they're not going to. Swallows are not going to go to one that's really high because they know other birds have that territory. So, one problem is that other birds probably don't take it, and swallows are not going to go there because they know it's too high for their standards. Yeah, the scientists tell us what? The, 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 it can be like six or seven feet, yeah, six, five to five or six. Mm -hmm. You learned, I learned recently that you know, swallows, if you build their houses, like the, 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 the bird nests of their houses, they can go past six. Six what inches? Six what? Six, six feet. feet. Six, six feet. feet. Um, six feet. Because if it goes any, they won't they won't go inside. The, I don't know why, but you know, it's just something we probably you know scientists will do what they just examined that they will not they will never go into a house as you know. So they're low to the ground. Yeah, exactly. They're low to the ground. They don't have the strap. Mm -hmm. They yeah. can't hang. Mm -hmm. Fifty degree. Yeah, they, 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 they can fly pretty high, but but they won't nest like higher. Yeah. yeah, like they don't want to. It might be for the kids, well, you know. Are they almost like scavengers? Mm. Yeah, well, they're insectivores. I think for the fact that they will, they will, if they, if they will never live from like high, like, you know, in, in the trees because of the fact that there's other birds that they know that they will have. Like, like I think bluebirds. Like, Nest higher, for example? And cowbirds. And cowbirds, too. Cowbirds have to put their eggs in other people's nests and trick you into raising their eggs. So, one, one of the really nice things of this project is that we've been able to work with Rocking the Boat, but also with um, the orthonolo Orthonology Lab at Cornell and with a professor from Hunter as well. Um, so they've been teaching us about birds in general as well. So that's been a great component of what we've been doing. And I want to make sure your students, yeah. they're going to do actual presentations. Um, so we can either do the presentation if you want to do the part. Young people challenged by severe economic, educational issues. Mm -hmm.
positive activities and using the natural treats for very positive. Using good communication with your team 